<laughs> As the harvest moon cast an eerie glow over the dense forest, the town of Silverwood braced itself for the imminent terror that lurked within the shadows. Old legends spoke of a curse that awakened under the full moon's glow, turning the tranquil woods into a hunting ground for a creature with insatiable hunger, the werewolf. Amelia, a curious journalist drawn to the allure of the supernatural, arrived in Silverwood to investigate the recent surge in mysterious disappearances. In the dimly lit tavern, she overheard hushed whispers about an enigmatic stranger who claimed to have encountered the legendary werewolf. Determined to uncover the truth, she set out to find this elusive figure. Guided by the stranger's cryptic directions, Amelia ventured into the heart of the forest. The dense canopy overhead whispered ancient secrets as she pressed forward. Strange noises echoed through the trees, heightening her senses and leaving her on edge. Unbeknownst to her, the werewolf, its predatory instincts awakening, watched her every move from the shadows. Amelia stumbled upon a clearing bathed in the ethereal glow of the moon, where she encountered the enigmatic stranger. He revealed himself as Gabriel, a seasoned hunter with a haunted past. As he shared tales of lycanthropy and the curse that plagued Silverwood, the distant howls of the approaching werewolf sent shivers down their spines. The hunter and the journalist, bound by a common fear, found themselves united against a common enemy. Under the ominous glow of the harvest moon, Gabriel and Amelia embarked on a moonlit pursuit of the elusive werewolf. The dense foliage seemed to close in around them, amplifying the tension in the air. Each step echoed with the urgency of their mission, their senses heightened as the creature's growls reverberated through the night. In the heart of the forest, the werewolf emerged from the shadows, its form contorting in a haunting transformation under the moon's malevolent gaze. Gabriel and Amelia, frozen in terror, witnessed the creature's metamorphosis, a chilling reminder that humanity could be stripped away with each lunar cycle. The chase had begun, a deadly game of cat and mouse in the moonlit labyrinth. Through the twisting paths of the forest, the werewolf led Gabriel and Amelia on a relentless pursuit. Its eyes glowed with feral hunger, a predatory gleam that hinted at the horrors to come. The hunter and the journalist, fueled by a primal instinct for survival, pressed on, determined to unravel the mysteries of the cursed woods. As the trio raced through the forest, shadows danced in the moonlight, creating an eerie tapestry of shifting darkness. The werewolf, a formidable silhouette, moved with supernatural agility, testing the limits of its pursuers. Gabriel's knowledge of lycanthropy and Amelia's journalistic instincts became their only weapons in a deadly game against a creature born of the cursed night. The werewolf, its fur stained with the blood of its prey, left a macabre trail through the forest. Amelia, grappling with fear and fascination, documented the gruesome scenes, each one a testament to the beast's insatiable appetite. Gabriel, undeterred by the carnage, analyzed the signs, determined to anticipate the creature's next move. As the pursuit intensified, an unearthly howl echoed through the trees, sending a chill down Amelia's spine. The werewolf, sensing the proximity of its pursuers, unleashed a primal cry that reverberated through the night. The forest responded with a symphony of rustling leaves and distant whispers, as if nature itself mourned the curse that had befallen Silverwood. Guided by Gabriel's knowledge of ancient lore, the trio stumbled upon a forbidden sanctuary hidden deep within the forest. Carved symbols adorned the entrance, warning trespassers of the curse that dwelled within. As they crossed the threshold, the air grew thick with an otherworldly energy and the oppressive weight of centuries-old secrets pressed upon them. Within the sanctuary, Gabriel unraveled the werewolf's curse's origins. Centuries ago, a pact with a malevolent entity cursed Silverwood, transforming its inhabitants into savage beasts under the harvest moon. To break the curse, a sacrificial ritual was needed, a perilous endeavor that required unraveling the mystery of the entity's hold on the town. As Gabriel recounted the town's dark history, the entity that bound the curse sensed intruders in its sanctuary. 
Shadows coalesced, taking an ephemeral form that whispered haunting promises to those who dared to challenge its dominion. The pact with shadows echoed through the air, testing the resolve of the trio as they confronted the malevolent force that held Silverwood in its grasp. To break the curse, Gabriel revealed the existence of ancient relics hidden within the sanctuary, objects imbued with both darkness and redemption. The trio embarked on a perilous quest to locate these relics, their journey fraught with trials that tested their resolve. The werewolf, a spectral guardian of the sanctuary, watched their every move, its hunger for blood unabated. Each relic, guarded by ethereal trials that mirrored the sins of those who had invoked the curse, brought the trio closer to unraveling the malevolent entity's grip on Silverwood. Gabriel's haunted past resurfaced in these trials, forcing him to confront his deepest fears. Amelia, too, faced spectral manifestations that questioned her motivations and tested her commitment to the quest. As they delved deeper into the sanctuary, the entity unleashed spectral temptations, manifesting illusions that preyed on the trio's vulnerabilities. The line between reality and illusion blurred, and the werewolf's malevolence infiltrated their minds. Gabriel, Amelia, and the werewolf danced on the precipice of their sanity, their journey teetering between salvation and damnation. The relics, gathered at great cost, pulsated with an otherworldly energy. Gabriel, guided by the lore, arranged them in a sacred pattern. As the final relic locked into place, the sanctuary trembled. The entity unleashed a chorus of anguished howls, its dominion over Silverwood threatened. The curse's reckoning had begun, and the trio stood at the epicenter of a spectral storm. With a blinding flash, the relics released a surge of pure, cleansing energy. The malevolent entity howled in agony as the centuries-old curse unraveled. The sanctuary, once cloaked in darkness, now basked in an ethereal light. The veil between the mortal realm and the supernatural shattered, releasing the town from the curse's insidious grip. As the curse lifted, the werewolf's form shifted, revealing the tortured soul beneath. No longer a creature of unbridled savagery, the werewolf, once a victim of the curse, stood before the trio. Eyes that once gleamed with feral hunger now mirrored a profound sadness, a lycanthropic epiphany that spoke of redemption and the weight of centuries of torment. With the curse broken, Silverwood emerged from the shadows that had haunted it for centuries. The townsfolk, once prisoners of the Harvest Moon's malevolence, awoke to a new dawn. Gabriel, Amelia, and the reformed werewolf bore witness to the echoes of Silverwood, a town reborn from the ashes of its cursed history. In the aftermath of the curse's unraveling, Silverwood grappled with a profound sense of mourning. The townsfolk, freed from the curse's malevolence, mourned the losses endured during the town's dark history. A solemn air lingered, even as the first rays of sunlight bathed the once-cursed town in a gentle warmth. Amelia, driven by an insatiable curiosity, uncovered a forgotten graveyard on the outskirts of Silverwood. Hidden beneath the encroaching foliage, the gravestones told tales of those lost to the werewolf's curse. Intrigued by the stories etched into the weathered stones, Amelia sought to preserve the town's haunted history. As the moon rose over Silverwood, no longer tainted by the curse, its glow now held a healing resonance. The townsfolk, once prisoners of the Harvest Moon's malevolence, gathered in the town square to witness the celestial spectacle. A collective sigh of relief echoed through the air, marking the beginning of Silverwood's journey toward healing. Silverwood, bathed in the newfound light of redemption, embarked on a collective journey of healing. The scars left by the curse began to fade, both in the physical and metaphysical realms. Gabriel, once burdened by the weight of his lycanthropic past, found solace in the town's transformation, becoming an unlikely guardian of its renewed spirit. Amelia, reflecting on her journey, penned her experiences in a journal, a chronicle of Silverwood's harrowing history and triumphant redemption. Her words echoed with a profound respect for the town's resilience and the indomitable spirit that had overcome the shadows. The journalist, now a storyteller of the supernatural, vowed to share Silverwood's tale with the world.
On a moonlit night, Silverwood received an unexpected visitor, a mysterious figure with an ethereal aura. The townsfolk, initially wary, soon realized that this enigmatic visitor harbored no malevolence. Clad in silvered robes that seemed to shimmer in the moonlight, the stranger watched over Silverwood with a benevolent gaze, leaving behind an air of intrigue. The enigmatic visitor revealed to be an ancient guardian connected to the town's supernatural history, unveiled moonlit revelations. With a voice that resonated like a celestial hymn, the guardian spoke of Silverwood's enduring spirit and its newfound destiny. The town, once shackled by a curse, now stood as a beacon of resilience in the face of the supernatural. In the heart of Silverwood, the Guardian unveiled an ancient prophecy, a vision of a future where the town's renewed spirit would be tested by unseen forces. The prophecy hinted at a looming darkness, a shadow that sought to cast doubt on Silverwood's redemption. The townsfolk, still basking in the afterglow of their victory, faced an uncertain future. As whispers of the prophecy spread through Silverwood, the townsfolk faced a tenuous truce with the supernatural. Gabriel, the Guardian, and Amelia joined forces to unravel the enigma foretold in the prophecy. The moon, once a symbol of malevolence, now stood as a celestial ally, guiding the trio toward the shadows that threatened to encroach upon Silverwood once more. An ominous eclipse loomed on the horizon, casting a shadow over Silverwood. The celestial event, foretold in the prophecy, heralded the arrival of a malevolent force that sought to test the town's newfound resilience. Gabriel, Amelia, and the Guardian, united by a shared purpose, prepared to confront the looming darkness that threatened to shatter the fragile peace. The celestial dance of the eclipse plunged Silverwood into an eerie twilight. As the moon's glow waned, shadows gathered whispering ominous secrets that echoed through the town. Gabriel, Amelia, and the Guardian felt the weight of an unseen presence, a malevolent force that lurked in the depths of the impending darkness. Guided by the Guardian's ancient knowledge, the trio sought enchanted artifacts scattered across Silverwood. These artifacts, infused with celestial energy, held the key to warding off the encroaching shadows with the town on the brink of another supernatural confrontation, the hunt for the artifacts became a race against time. In the hidden corners of Silverwood, a coven of malevolent entities stirred. Drawn to the Eclipse's ominous energy, they sought to exploit the town's vulnerability. Unbeknownst to the townsfolk, the coven's resurgence threatened to unravel the delicate balance between light and shadow. With the enchanted artifacts in hand, Gabriel, Amelia, and the Guardian convened in the town square under the shadow of the eclipse. A celestial ritual unfolded, their combined efforts channeling the artifact's energy to create a protective barrier against the encroaching darkness. The ritual, a fusion of ancient lore and newfound resilience, illuminated Silverwood with a defiant glow. As the celestial barrier shimmered into existence, the coven launched a relentless assault. Shadowy figures danced on the outskirts of town, testing the limits of the protective enchantment. Whispers of malevolence echoed through the night, seeking to sow doubt and fear among the townsfolk. In the midst of the cosmic struggle, the Guardian revealed the true extent of the prophecy. A sacrifice, both celestial and personal, was needed to fortify the protective barrier. With a solemn acceptance of destiny, the Guardian stepped into the heart of the ritual, merging their essence with the celestial energy. The sacrifice, a poignant moment of selflessness, strengthened the town's defenses. As the eclipse reached its apex, the celestial forces clashed with the coven's malevolence. The town square became a battleground between light and shadow, the air vibrating with a cosmic tension. Gabriel, Amelia, and the townsfolk, inspired by the guardian's sacrifice, stood united against the encroaching darkness. In a climactic surge of energy, the protective barrier shattered the illusions conjured by the coven. The shadowy figures, once menacing, now recoiled in the face of the town's newfound resilience. Silverwood, bathed in the glow of celestial energy, emerged from the eclipse with a collective sigh of relief. The coven's influence banished to the ethereal realms. 
With the eclipse waning, the Guardian's ethereal presence lingered, bestowing a final benediction upon Silverwood. The town, having faced the cosmic confrontation with unwavering courage, bore the Guardian's legacy, a resilience forged in the crucible of celestial struggle. Gabriel, Amelia, and the townsfolk, their spirits unbroken, embraced the future with newfound strength. As the last vestiges of the eclipse faded, Silverwood witnessed a celestial reckoning, a testament to the town's triumph over supernatural adversity. The Guardian's legacy lived on in the hearts of the townsfolk, a beacon of hope that illuminated Silverwood's path forward. The eclipse, once a harbinger of darkness, now became a symbol of the town's enduring resilience in the face of celestial challenges.